Hello everyone, this is Stripper. And today we are playing some chivalry medieval warfare. And if you didn't know by the title, this is a tactics video. And it's been quite a while since I have made a legitimate tactics video. Uh, for you fine people's consumption. And this one just so happens to be about the Warhammer. I don't know why I turned around completely for that, but we started off just fantastic. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to use this fabulous weapon. It is a fabulous weapon. I, I can't actually remember if I've made a Warhammer Tactics before. If I haven't, that's good. If I have, that's still good, because more shit. Different day. Uh, that same shit, different day. So yes, I'm going to show you guys how to use the Warhammer, both with a shield and without. Now... First, we're going to do some introductory duels, as usual. Sorry. And hopefully, that gave you guys a decent idea. Mm. Uh, but yeah, the, the basic idea of the Warhammer is that the pokes are fast, as hell, if you didn't know that. The side swings and overheads are really slow. However, they deal a fuck ton of damage, especially to knights and vanguards, because it is a blunt weapon. Now, there are a couple cardinal rules with this weapon, such as uh, be very careful when using it against people with a weapon faster than it. Most weapons will be faster than this one. You're going to want to be very passive with it, too, because the reposts are what will win you duels with it. For the most part, the repose will win you duels. Oh! Oh god! So close, yeah. Alright, again. It's very... This is neck and neck! Ooh, and I do it. Oh, man. Very good fight. All right, so let me explain some of the things I did just in there. So the la very last thing I did was a spin, which is a way of accelerating weapons uh, with the slash attack. And you will want to do that as much as possible with your side swings and overheads. Uh, because that's the only way you're going to be able to hit pe mo people most of the time. Oh, he is lagging like a bitch. Let, let's try it, alright. Now, against faster opponents like men-at-arms, or faster weapons for that matter, you need to either poke a lot, or simply switch to your secondary. Never be afraid to switch to your secondary. That was actually very, very close. I should have swapped to my secondary. <clears throat> and what I have as my secondary as the knight is the Norse sword. I recommend that to everyone because it is one of the fastest weapons that is still a balance between range and damage and speed and everything. <clears throat> let's let's just try to fight. Oh. Jesus. Okay, yeah, the lag is I have fought with lag before, just not on this scale. This is horrifying. <laughs> Jesus! I'm not even sure what the fuck is happening at this point. Uh, so yeah, this is... This is what you do when you're fighting someone with a faster weapon. Mm. You switch to your secondary, or you prioritize pokes. As you can see, pokes are very, very quick. The damage actually begins... The, start, the part of the attack that deals damage actually begins around right there. Bam. So you can be right inside of someone. 
and deal damage very quickly. Alright. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna just switch to this weapon immediately. Done. Awesome. Okay, who did I just fight? Sorry, I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, so yes, you will want to use pokes a lot with people who are faster than you. With these guys, pull out your shield. Obviously, it's, it's an archer, you know, that's one of the main reasons shields are useful. However, once you get up close, you are going to want to switch to that secondary. Uh, let's. I'm going to show you guys what happens when you use this against quick opponents. It becomes a war of attrition for the most part. One which they will almost always win, just because their weapon's so much quicker than yours. Unless they have really bad reactions, like that. However, the vast majority of the time, you are going to want to uh, use this weapon against people with slower weapons or weapons of the same speed. Let's one more time. Let's just see if this archer can make shit happen. Ow. Ooh. That hurt. Also, I'm going to show you guys more stuff with the shield itself, because... Some very dramatic tactics music. Most people will be able to block those strikes with their quick-ass ass weapon. Ooh, Rox has actually had to be nice. Uh, he sure can duel me. Okay. What haven't I not showed you guys? Yeah, the shield. So... Uh, this is only half the weapon without the shield, so I'm going to show you guys it with the shield. Now, with the shield, as many of you will probably know, most weapons have their actual, the strike part of their attack. It has a different name, but the strike part of the attack is accelerated somewhat. It goes a bit faster. Now, against quick weapons, that may not be that useful. Ooh, man. May not be that useful. However, uh, I think that's a... Is that a sort of war skin? I don't know. Whatever, you get the ideas. You get the idea. I personally never use the shield. If you have, any of you have seen my shield tactics... Uh, um, you'll know that I detest the shield. I think it limits your field of view. I think it's kind of a silly way to play the game, but... Uh, you know, if you're good with a shield, then pff, I'm not going to stop you. Something really cool about this weapon that you can do with the shield is this. An accelerated overhead with insane speed. Just insane speed. Utterly ridiculous. Uh, so, against quick weapons, the shield can actually be very useful. Um... I say that I don't like using the shield. I would never, I never use it against anyone. Uh, however, against slower weapons, the shield can be a detriment, and I'm going to show you guys why. Because against them, generally, they are going to stam you out very quickly. You might think, uh, well, these weapons can be dragged really easily, uh, so shouldn't using a shield be better? Not really. In the, in those cases, a shield is a crutch. As well as the ability for opponents to just kick you every once in a while. Man, that, that overhead is so powerful. And getting stammed out. Oh shit, that was close actually. So the shield is not my preferred way of playing this weapon. If you enjoy the shield, then you'll probably enjoy using the shield with this weapon. If you know how to use it properly. I am not good with the shield. Therefore, I don't use it. However... The Warhammer versus the Messer? The Warhammer should be able to win most of the time. As long as you can read drags. Bam. There you have it, man. Those accelerated those accelerated strikes that the twirly things are very difficult for opponents to read, especially on reposts. This weapon thrives off of reposts. I, I didn't mention this. But you should be trying to repost whenever you possibly can. Every opportunity you can, unless unless you're fighting someone who really knows how to conserve stamina. You want to pull 
every repost out of your belt. Very nice combo. Which I will mention in a moment. Fuck me kindly. Very nice, Sir Pizza Rolls. So that time you saw, I tried to do a, uh, an accelerated thing. It did not work out. Not at all. Um, good. So, we're gonna try reposting a bit more, but also comboing, because he reads through my reposts very, very easily. You need to keep him guessing. Oh. Fuck me! That's amazing! Oh, yeah. Alright, so, the Warhammer should win these battles. Uh, but against someone... Against someone who is fantastic with the Messer, like Sir Pizza Rolls, it's going to be hard. However, to deal with people like that, you just pull out your secondary. Oh, I'm sorry. You just pull out your secondary, and that's how it goes. I had no health left, however, so very, very quick. That's the thing about fighting people who know know the weapon they're using. You have to be able to match them in skill, not just in potential. I should just make a tactics video about philosophy like this. Uh, the weapon does not make the battle. Almost every weapon can be viable, depending on how good you are with that weapon. You see, what he was... Oh, man, this guy is so skilled with that weapon. I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> How did I do that? That was awesome. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Sir Pizza Rolls. Whoa! The sun got in my eyes. Not my fault, no. But those are some very good fights. Uh, I'm going to fight him one last time, and we're going to try to beat him with uh, some new stuff that I'm going to tell you guys. So, the <laughs> if I didn't mention this already, the range for this weapon is complete shit. It's terrible. It's so bad. I can't hit anything at beyond, like, face hug distance, which is how we're going to beat this guy. That's not how we're going to beat this guy. We're going to not do that to beat this guy. That's not what... Jesus, that was horrible. Actually, we're going to pull out a shield uh, and see if that works. Just one last time. This is it, though. Uh, I actually made a post-it note with, with points on it, but I am completely missing many of those points. All right, all right, all right. We're going to try the shield. Against this kind of opponent, a shield may actually be beneficial. Alright, 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 alright. Come on. Oh! oh man, so close, too! Alright, very good fights to Sir Pizza Rolls. So, as you can see... This is just a basis of all my tactics videos. You just saw me lose three times in a row. Six times in a row, technically, to Sir Pizza Rolls. You might be thinking, well, why should I listen to anything you say to Ripper? Because I, I'm not very good with the Warhammer. Uh, and you can take that as you will. I know a lot of the idiosyncrasies that are good with the Warhammer, like knowing that the range is bad with it and that you should not rely on it. Uh, knowing that the shield overhead is extremely overpowered and fast. However, when it comes to pure skill with a weapon, that is what determines anything and everything about your ability to play with it. Whoops. That was actually a pretty damn good combo I got off. Whoops. Come on. Come on. So anyway, what am I, what am I trying to say here? Sir Pizza Rolls was way better with his weapon than I was with mine. It's as simple as that. No, no, no counter argument. No argument about counters can overcome that. Now, on it, back to the actual tactics. I just happened to come up against someone who was a very good player at his weapon. Uh, in this kind of situation, you're going to want to switch to your secondary. 
Oh, also, Shadow. I... I don't know, but I have some kind of hunch that this guy may be speed hacking. I don't know, I'm not completely certain. However, I've seen enough people use the Norse Sword to know who is and who is not speed hacking. Whoa! That was pretty cool. Uh, however, I beat him. So, you know, no amount of hacks will do that. Will do anything against that. Oh, yay! Alright, against an opponent with a longer weapon, like this guy and his spear, which is, I think, the longest weapon in the game, you want to just get in facehog range and make him hate you. Do not use a shield in this scenario. You may be heavily tempted to pull out a shield, but don't, because that will make you complacent and try to block everything, which will make you lose. In the end, you saw me beat this guy, however, I didn't have much health left, but that's kind of necessary. You're probably going to need to hit trade a couple times to get the momentum, uh, the tempo, in your favor against these kinds of people. All right. But do not let them have the range, because if they do, you will lose. Simple as that. Just utilize your uh, insane repost and acceleration sp accelerated attack speed. And you can beat out most people. Uh, again, people who are just masters with their weapons are exceptions to most of these rules. Uh, you have to... When you become a master, as I like to call it with a weapon, I'm going to make a whole other video about this shit at some point in the future. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Okay. This is why the fast people, you have to use the fast weapons or else you will just not hit them because they dodge away just too quick. Nice, man. Very nice. Nope. You gotta be able to read them. I can take the hit. I've got way more health than him. I'm sure he's down to a kick. <laughs> no. Very nice, sir. Very, very good fight, but... Uh... I'm doing a tactics on the Warhammer, but you guys are seeing me use the Norse Sword probably almost as much. And let me explain again. When you fight people with a faster weapon than yours, you have to be able to adapt. All right, so this guy, he actually swapped to a broadsword, so this should be pretty decently evenly matched. The Norse Sword is just on a whole nother level. Ha! Are you serious? Oh, wow. Warhammer versus Warhammer. Let's see how this works. I, sh I should be able to win this, guys, or else you guys should probably just leave the video now. Very nice drag. Alright, we've almost reached critical mass. Ooh! Okay. Alright, guys. L let me beat him. Alright? I'll do it. I said leave the video, but don't leave it yet. <laughs> I got way too cocky about that fight. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, what other points? Against slower weapons than it, it can usually win out on the unless uh, the person you're fighting is exceedingly good with that weapon. Oh, man. Oh, that isn't... That's... That's bad. Guys, I don't know why you look look to me for tactics. I, I suck this game. Uh, <laughs> good fight, Water Buffalo. Again, however... Switch to that secondary, guys. Don't be afraid to do it. Mm. Alright. Well, let's see what else I can throw your way in terms of information. Repost overhead stabs are insanely fast. Oh, yes, they are. 
yeah, remember that, guys. Uh, I'm might just because it's really early in the morning that I'm not blocking everything. I am blocking really, really well today, however. Oh, is this it? Oh, we're we're done. Okay, yeah, cool. Uh, overview then for those of you still watching, um, who somehow trust my judgment after losing to someone else with the warhammer. Pokes are fast, if if you didn't know. Use them a lot. Overhead and side swings are pretty slow. Mm. Using the shield and an overhead strike is exceedingly fast if you accelerate it. Look down, get your war get the path to start right in their head. Um Uh, against slow weapons, it's incredible. Yeah, I already mentioned that, except unless they're, they're an expert. The range is shit. The range is so bad. So bad with this weapon. Uh, it's not competitively viable. It's not. Don't try to use it if you're trying to get good at this game. Uh, I use it as a fun weapon sometimes, but if you want to be decent at this game and you want to play competitively, don't use the Warhammer. All right, I can say that first and foremost right here. It's not a competitively viable weapon, because its range is so bad. Uh, that's the main reason. Its slowness can be dealt with drags and accelerations and shit like that, but its range is bad. The shield uh, is decent if you know how to use it. It's not all that good versus slow weapons, because generally it will turn into a war of attrition. Unless you're very good at like getting around people's defense. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Comboing can be detrimental. Yeah, be careful with combos. Uh, it leaves you open because this weapon's so slow. All right, that's that, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. Let me know. Hopefully, the next tactics I won't lose five times in a row. But I shall see you, kind people, next time. As always, have a grand day. Bye bye.